What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another Read Aloud by Coach T. Today, I'll be reading There's No Place Like Space, all about our solo system by Tish Rab and illustrated by Artistes Ruiz. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you've missed them, you'll soon see. This is an adventure of a lifetime. No one would like to miss this adventure. I am the cat in the hat, and let me lead the way as we're on our adventure in space. The planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. Here's a close-up at Mercury. Now you tell me what you see. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot. Nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it every day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet. Earth! It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day, and it will never stop. Home sweet home. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next, here is Mars. It is the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day. For the sun's just a speck and the sky far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets. Now here's a trick to remember their names. And remember them quick. Say Mallory, Mercury, Valerie, Venus, Emily, Earth, Matthias, Mars, Just, Jupiter, Serves, Saturn, Us, Uranus, 999, Neptune, Pisces, Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's a star, dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call... Constellations, the bull, lion, a dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it, the star called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes will get hurt, and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present. To look in the sky, just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go. Fly back up to the stars and take things one and thing two out to dinner on Mars. But there's a lot to discover, and it might be you who looks up in the sky. And find something that's new.
Our solar system is quite divine. The end.